Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Aaron Raj. 129 families in low-lying villages in Trunganu have been evacuated after floodwaters submerged their homes. As at 4.25 p.m. Friday, more than 700 people are seeking shelter at community halls, schools and mosques. Basut was the worst hit district with 379 people moved to evacuation centers since early morning, followed by Hulu Trunganu and Dungun. Workers are still searching the affected areas for victims trapped inside their submerged homes. In Klantan and Pase Mas are the two areas hit by floods with 300 people evacuated since afternoon when the Sungai Klantan and Sungai Golok overflowed. The readings at several parts of Sungai Klantan are also reported to be reaching danger levels following heavy rain since early this morning. Pahang Fire and Rescue Department have been high alert for possible flash floods in the state after 48 hours of incessant rain. However, at, however, as at press time, there have been no report of floods or evacuation of villages in low-lying areas. Police shot dead two suspected armed robbers at the Ayakuro Sungai Udang Highway in Malacca early Friday morning. Malacca Police Chief Dato Mohamad Rodwan Mohamad says the two suspects tried to ram into a police car after they were told to stop. Uh, satu tembakan dari arah kereta apabila terbabah tadi dan uh, apabila keluar terdengar lagi beberapa dat tembakan dan uh, pasukan polis telah melepaskan uh, tembakan ke arah kereta tersebut dan uh, telah membunuh atau telah menembak mati dua lelaki-lelaki dan uh, kita telah merampas uh, satu uh, pistol dan uh, dipercayai uh, kerenakan uh, nombor palsu dan uh, juga dipercayai dicuri dan kita akan cek daripada uh, mana kenderaan itu telah dicuri. Both suspects are locals and are believed to be members of the Kendong Gang. Suspects are believed to have been involved in a spate of crime in Kuala Lumpur, Subang and Johor Bahru. Police are debating whether there are more members at large. Kelantan Menteri Besar Incorporated or PMBK Chief Executive Officer Arif Fami Abdul Rahman says he will cooperate with the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission MACC in their investigations into the state-owned company. He said the operations finance manager informed him of the raid. Arif Fami, the son-in-law of Kelantan Menteri Abdul Aziz Nikmat, says this is the second time that MACC officers have raided the office. On Thursday, six MACC officers raided PMBK's office and took away several documents. The officers from Putrajaya and Kota Baru were said to be looking for Arifami who happened to be on medical leave that day. A U.S. Army psychiatrist said to be shipped overseas opened fire at the Fort Hood Army Post in Texas, killing 12 and wounding 31 people on Thursday. Authorities say it is the worst mass shooting ever at a military base in the United States. The gunman has been identified as Major Nidal Malik Hassan. He was wounded and taken to, military, to hospital under military guard. Officials have not ruled out the possibility that some of the casualties may have been victims of friendly fire. Authorities amid the mayhem and confusion at the scene. President Barack Obama has called the shooting at the Soldier Readiness Center a horrific outburst of violence. He says it is difficult enough to lose Americans in battle overseas, but it's horrifying that soldiers could come under fire at army base on American soil. Fort Hood is the largest active duty armored post in the United States. It is home to about 50 as of earlier this year. For more updates, for more updates, log on to staronline.tv. I'm Aaron Raz. Thanks for watching.